This is footage from one of the trendy dash cameras lately. The 70mm Mini, part of Xiaomi's ecosystem. While it is indeed small, it is not the tiniest 70mm yet. And although tiny, it shows muscles when it comes to footage and image quality. And because of that, we inspect. Welcome everybody, tech for our channel here, my name is Michael and there are so many awesome cool tech gadgets we inspect here. Make sure to subscribe and stay up to date. 70 My is a very young company and being backed by Xiaomi, it's seen growth with big leaps forward and is already respected as one of the best budget-oriented brands for car DVRs. And the 70 My portfolio is already well expanded with tire pressure monitors, air compressor, jump starter, Feel free to check all of it and you're gonna land on their official store on AliExpress using the link posted in the description below the video. The 70My Mini keeps most of the good traditions of the company but for the first time introduces a setup with an image sensor by Omnivision which is a change from the Sony backed models so far. And the price remains very attractive, being around 55 US dollars. The big advantage here is the support of H.265 encoding, which allows better compression and you can store almost twice more footage on the same size of an SD card compared to the rest of the common dashboard cameras. Let's take a look at what is inside the box. No surprises here and all is well packed with the usual 70 my style of the box. We take out the cam module and there's an additional accessory box with a dual port charger, a long USB cable terminating at micro USB and a Pry2 for easier installation. There are two form factors that 70 my are still maintaining. The first kind, which is the original 70 my like form and the Mini adopts the style of the Pro version, which was released around an year ago. Advantage here is the way it is being mounted. You can see that the plate sticks to the windshield and then you attach the dash cam on top. I like a lot of this mechanism. While it keeps the device really steady, you can unmount within seconds and take the device with you. Not much to see on the outside. We usually expect a display on this form, but there's nothing like it here. We can see the power button, which also acts as a function button, and the small Wi-Fi button. That's pretty much it. No display, no voice commands, no fancy extras, just the basics. I've teased you about the hardware setup, so here's some info about the internals. Chipset is high silicon 3556. That's manufactured by Huawei and supports the so-called high efficiency video codec. There's a 5 megapixel Omnivision image sensor, optics with 140 degrees field of view and a built-in 500mAh battery. If we look beyond just the numbers, the processors here is used by some of the most successful action cameras of 2019, like the Seabird 4K and the Acaso V50X, both of which made it to the 2019's Top 5 Best Action Cameras chart and you can find this video linked in the top right info bar. We know that the processor uses just part of its capacity, so we expect nothing but great performance. To install and to start the 70My Mini for the first time, we have to mount it on the windshield, connect the USB cable and also go through the quick setup through the smartphone app. The size of the Mini well matches the model name, so it won't disturb you a lot while you're driving. I usually recommend choosing the area behind the rear view mirror so that it remains as discreet as possible, but because this area in my car is reserved for another device, I've chosen this other spot. When installing the plate, you may use the included folio on the windshield and this will let you very quickly remove it if necessary. After placing the dash cam, the only thing which is left is the first time setup. The 70 My Mini has a better speaker and the interaction is a little easier because besides the LED, it also speaks to you. Show my starts recording. Turning on Wi-Fi hotspot. Wi-Fi hotspot is on. But it is a one-way communication. It won't understand any of your speech. If you need parking monitoring, that is supported too and you might want to get a hardwire kit. Or you can count on the embedded battery, which will be able to capture around 20 minutes of recordings in total before it is entirely empty. 
Note that the parking recording is triggered by the G-sensor, which means that it starts after a collision or another kind of shake. There's no motion detection, and this is typical for all the 70My dash cameras so far. And I very much hope that, starting from the next model, we will finally see real motion sensors. Let's talk about footage now. Most of the recordings you're gonna see are 1600p at 30 frames per second, which is the highest possible resolution. There also is 1080p, but there is no 60 frames per second mode. The hardware actually supports that, but I guess it is not enabled on the firmware level yet. And it's time for our usual audio testing for the 70My Mini. I'm currently driving with around 30 to 35 miles per hour. And I'm sitting at about foot and a half away from the dash cam, and that's the audio quality you could expect. All of that is encoded in H.265, and there's the big advantage for you. Between 7 and 8 megabits per second for Full HD and around 17 for 1600p, this is fantastic. At the valve size, that usual cameras with basic H.264 encoding are recording Full HD, you can get way more detailed video file without sacrificing any quality. The amount of data in the video files is remarkable, and I feel that this 70My Mini is probably the 70My device with the best tuned compression algorithm. Because of the season over here, I managed to sort of test the advertised defogging feature supported. We had a lot of fog and smoke these days, and in moments where there was more of it, the image quality was usually staying better than what most of the competitors would record. Daytime footage is fantastic, sharp, with plenty of details, with good colors and correct exposure, one of the best tuned daytime recordings I've actually seen, and usually combined with good placing on the windshield, reflections of the sun and car lights would be brought to a minimum and won't disturb the recordings. Low light footage is also great, I was a little concerned because the sensor is 5 megapixel, and usually 5 megapixel sensor compared to a 2 megapixel sensor has worse performance if the optic size is the same. But over here you can see really good low light footage. Details level remains pretty high, and plate numbers are visible even if there is not too much of light and you're not too close. If you need to change something about the camera performance, the smartphone app will come handy, and you can also use it for file transfer. A 1 minute 1600p file has between 60 and 100 megabytes of size and it's gonna be twice smaller in Full HD. And with the available 2.4G Wi-Fi, the transfer of a single file would take less than a minute. Or you can simply eject the microSD card and copy the files from there. Very convenient is the Wi-Fi button. You can make the dashcam to power on with the Wi-Fi off as a default and you can still switch it on at any point of time and change your config. So that's the 70My Mini, my dear friends. A very good dash camera, having packed a great amount of horsepower in a relatively small and discreet body. Ticks most of the boxes you're gonna need from a 2020 good dash cam. It has excellent daytime and night recording quality. H.265 encoding for optimal file management. Wi-Fi, adjustable lens position, quick release mounting. You won't get any GPS support. There would be no voice command supported. No option for 60 frames per second in any of the spotted resolutions, maybe just yet. And parking mode is based on just a gravity sensor. And having said all that, I think it well justifies its price tag and is a reliable and excellent dash camera. If you have some experience with it or would simply like to share thoughts and questions, make sure to get in touch using the comments below the video. To get the original from a reliable source, Check the info and links in the description below and please take a moment for supporting me and the channel by liking, subscribing, maybe sharing the video with other folks that might be interested. It's been an honor to have you around for the last few minutes and hope to see you soon here at the tech for all channel. A Michael and sincere wishes for a wonderful day or night. Take care.